If you are wondering how the pandemic changed the cabin crew recruitment and how you could adapt to these changes, you clicked on the right video. Hi, I'm Ruth and I help aspirants simplify the complicated cabin crew interviews. Before we start, I would like to give a shout out to my first class members. Who are the first class members? They are the exclusive members of this channel if you're watching over YouTube and they get an access to a live video stream every Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Philippine time. And every member of the first class get a live access to me where I answer their questions about the cabin crew recruitment and give lessons like how do the recruiters judge you during the interview day and so much more. If you want to be a member, go ahead and click join on this channel next to the subscribe button. And I will see you next Wednesday. So how did the pandemic change all of this crazy recruitment? rituals, traditions, and schedule. First of all, during the pandemic, there are a lots of current cabin crew that got laid off. So it's just reasonable that on the next hiring that they will open their doors, they will be opening their doors to the ex-cabin crew who wants to fly with the airlines again. So if you are a fresh graduate, you would feel like, oh, I am disheartened, I'm disappointed because I don't have a chance anymore. But don't take it personally. It's just the way that the industry goes. It's just a way for them to make it easier to fly right away because ex-cabin crew doesn't require so much training at the beginning. But as the pandemic slows down and as we open up more to the world, rest assured that they will need more cabin crews to their fleet or their army or their companies. Why? Because not all cabin crew want to go back to flying. Most of them have started a family or have appreciated the work from home situation. That's why when they open up the doors, not 100% will go in. So still apply the next time that they open their doors for fresh graduates or non-ex crew members. All right. So go ahead. The next way that the cabin crew recruitments have changed is the rise of online applications. During the rise of online applications, there are certain ways that you could modify, you could specifically change lots of things within your capacity to make sure you stand out among the other online applicants. One of these is making sure that you have good audio, good background, good lighting. That's the basics. And of course, dress up all the way like I did. <laughs> Don't wear your pajamas underneath. Still wear your slacks because you never know. Suddenly, the recruiter will ask you to do a walk, to do an announcement, stand up. And what if you're wearing shorts underneath? That's so embarrassing, right? So that's the next way that it has changed. I do have a specific video on this where I go, I deep dive about my online application strategies on the other video that I would recommend by the end of this video. It's going to be on the end screen, so watch out for that. The next thing that have changed during the pandemic is that, you know, there's a whole world where people are like vaccinated, non-vaccinated. There's a whole movement for freedom and human rights. They don't want to get vaccinated. They don't want to do something to their body. So if you are somebody who don't want to be vaccinated totally respect you no know, judgment but the airline might not try to you know the airline might prefer not to get you because you are front facing people and not i don't know they just don't want to risk it so they would just prefer people who are vaccinated as well as people who are willing to go through the quarantine process and all of that stuff so if this bothers you if this is something that you know is strongly you feel about about your personal belief then probably it's not the good place for you to start a career as a cabin crew because they would require you or force you to do these things so far we have covered three ways that the pandemic have changed the cabin crew recruitment hold on until the very end of this video because i will tell you a weird way that the airlines vet you that you would never think that they would do 
If you are loving this content so far, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up on YouTube or a podcast review if you are listening over our podcast channel at Fly Podcast with K Chris. This really helps me out a lot. You have no idea and I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. All right, so let's continue on with the content during this change of course the questions will change we just went through a really really tough time it's called the pandemic and everybody is affected in whatever country you are in you are affected so just expect there will be so many pandemic related questions that they will throw out there something like what have you learned through the pandemic how did you stay productive during the pandemic times how do you think the pandemic has affected the airline industry how could you help the company in your role things like that those are the pandemic related questions you might just prepare an answer because they might just keep coming 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 at you about pandemic related questions so there you have it make sure you subscribe because i'm going to do a deep dive interview tutorial examples of pandemic questions examples of answers so that's coming up next month okay <laughs> so three weeks from now that's gonna be our next videos it's gonna be all about pandemic related questions samples and sample answers so if you're into those types of videos that i do here i also have a playlist so many questions and so many sample answers and also teach you why i answer that way so let's go ahead to the last part this is going to be the social media screening yes you heard that right they screen your social media if you are going to the background check that means you already passed the process passed the physicals passed the medicals but oh my god they search your social media feed even if it was years and years ago and if there is something out there that they find that they might think is a red flag they're not gonna get you <laughs> so this is so weird i know it's like borderline stalkerish but guys the airlines are not the only ones doing it other companies are doing it as well with the rise of social media it's easier for them to weed out any toxic person anybody that might be a hazard to the company somebody who's not true consistent during the interview like you know someone who just prepare for the interview try their best but then their character is not consistent with what they present and what they show online so if i were you i would just keep private things private or i would just not put any negative things online on my timeline that could be traced back to me like on public forums i will not be like using my real name and things like that i will not be posting negativity i'll not be posting something political extremely religious you know the gist something that would not pass the background check remove it i don't have like a specific but use your common sense my dear fly fam <laughs> I want to know if you prefer online applications or in-person applications. Do make sure you comment that down below and let's start a conversation there. All right. And maybe if you have a question after you comment, I could feature it as a question of the day on my next videos. So go ahead, comment. Do you like online applications or in-person applications next monday our episode will be about why did you not get chosen during the cabin crew recruitment even if you did everything right if you are looking for ways to level up your application game, the next video that I would recommend for you to watch is the 10 things I would do differently if I were applying for the cabin crew position today. This is the video that I was talking about earlier. If you want to have a bigger picture on how the recruitment have changed, have not changed, and what I would do, how I would strategize to get in, get the job, for the current times that we are in, go ahead and click on that video on your screen right now. And thank you so much. I will fly with you soon. Bye. Here we come. Come with me. There's a way.